Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this one we'll be going over Anubrekan boss guy in an axe Ramas. Let's get straight to it. The biggest difference between 10 man mode and 25 man is how many ads do you have to deal with in this encounter. So let's talk about that first before we go over other abilities and mechanics. For this fight you will want to bring 1 to 2 tanks. This purely depends on gear and skill level of your tanks and the raid overall. On 10 man there won't be any Nerubian adds present on pull, but rather 20 seconds into the fight. On 25 man there will be 2 Nerubian standing next to the boss. Also additional Nerubian add will spawn during every locust swarm. This goes for both raid difficulties. Easiest way to deal with the adds is to assign a tank to tank them, or you can let main tank pick them up and have a DPS pick up any other additional adds that spawn during the swarm. A feral cat can go into bear form or you can assign a death knight to death grip into army of the dead. Adds have a stacking poison debuff, so don't leave them alive for too long. Remember that you can stun them as well, especially when they're on low HP since that's when they're gonna enrage. They also spawn a bunch of small scarabs on death so be ready to AoE them down fast. Anumbrakan will periodically cast Impale on a raid member. You will want your raid to spread as much as possible, melee included, to avoid groups of people getting knocked up in the air. To avoid taking fall damage from the knockup, you can use abilities like Blink and Charge. Engineers can use their Parachute. Dealing with Impale shouldn't be an issue as long as your raid is not grouped up on the same spot. Now on to the banger of this fight, the Locust War. Every 90 seconds or so, the boss will start casting the swarm that will silence and disable any raid member within the range. That means not only you won't be able to cast any spells, but you also won't be able to auto-attack. DPS and healers should move away from the boss when this happens, or at the very least be at max range if they're still pumping damage. The way you deal with the swarm is completely up to you, though most popular and the simplest way is for the tank to kite the boss to the side from one end of the room to the other preferably with increased movement speed. Items such as Swiftness Potion, JC's Ruby Hair or Nitra Boots Enchant help a lot. Alternative methods of dealing with this would be for a hunter to distract the boss and disengage and ping pong the boss with a tank, or you can simply have the tank stay put and dump heavy healing plus rotate cooldowns onto him. If you're doing the kiting strat and you have multiple local swarms, you can also assign a DPS to taunt the boss and pop their movement speed cooldown. This is one of easier fights in the raid, provided that you handle local swarm properly and spread out. Do note that the boss can spawn scarabs from player's corpse, so the cleaner you play, less potential problems you will have in this fight. I hope this video was useful either to you or your raid members. If you have enjoyed it, please consider smashing that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe for more content. And on that note, roll the outro.